and welcome back to Thief Deadly Shadows, the Shalebridge Cradle. Yes, I know the sound was uh, fairly hard to hear me through, so I'm going to see if I can adjust that. And I'll stick down by five. And uh, I think the brightness was okay, so we're just going to leave that at ten. And without further ado, we step back into the cradle. So we slowly low. Uh, if you remember last time, we just fought off a zombie that tried to eat our face. So hopefully we can avoid that happening again. Uh, I'm kind of not looking forward to it, but at the same time, I couldn't stop myself from recording. So. I... yes, this is bad. This is patient number seven. The bird... person... Shelburne. Shinies? Hello, Shinies. Yay, Shinies. Okay. Birdhouse. Hello, Birdhouse. Um. Okay. Whew. Time to hit the quick save button. I'm gonna be doing a lot of that. There should be another one patrolling. Through this area, but I'm not quite sure where. This is cell number eight. <laughs> oh my god, really? That sound. Oh, it's not just creepy, it's kind of painful. It's the uh, noise, oop, problem with textures there. Oh my god, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. It's not so much, it's waiting for something to jump out at you. That's what really does it. Oop, sorry folks, wrong button. He's coming, I think. Oh uh, yeah, here he comes. Yes, game on. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've run out of fire arrows, so... Now, I went and, uh, I decided to read up on what these things are. They're called puppets, according to the wiki. And I guess that's a good name for them, because if you look how they move... They are somewhat puppet-like. Okay, let's see what scary noises the game makes when I open this door. Oh. Thank you, game. May I have another? God! Uh. Yes, indeed. 
here at the Shelbridge Cradle, they hope to provide anything you need. For a quick save. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. I've been recording six minutes and I'm already. I already kind of want to stop, but at the same time, you don't, you know? It's. Why do we do this to ourselves? What is it in the human sight that makes us touch and draw and stick our finger in the electric socket of the universe and jiggle the switch? As Terry Pratchett once said, oh my god, <laughs> please. Oh. One more. And scary noises. hear fire. I'm guessing that this is the uh, the arsonist's room. As you can see the marks on the floor where it's been burned and uh, you can hear it. And I'm fairly sure that scream was game. Damn it. Yes, there is one, I believe, patrolling this hall. I think we're gonna move over here and wait in ambush. To fill you in, the Shellbridge Cradle was once an orphanage that was turned into an insane asylum that then burned down. <laughs> I wonder who we have to blame for it burning down. It couldn't be the psychotic arsonist on this floor. Uh, but I did some reading and I found that that the... Um, well, I shouldn't say I did some reading. I played through the inner cradle... Or not the inner cradle, the outer cradle. I did some exploring back there and uh, I found out that... Um, the White Hall was where they kept the really dangerous mental, mentally ill people. Here he comes. Peekaboo. That's not right. There we go. Down. Okay, that's gonna drive me nuts. Quick save time. Just taking a look at these people. They're clearly human. Void. Ish. They're wrapped in a full body sock. It looks like a straight jacket. And they've got metal things on their hands and heads. So that's great. <laughs> Screw this place. Screw it up the load. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now you get to experience a graphical glitch alongside myself. I plan on having this video run for about mm, 
14 minutes if I can. I'll probably do this cell in the next one, and that'll be a good stopping place. If I can get the door open. <laughs> oh, that light thing is gonna give me a headache. <laughs> Garrett, Master Thief. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but that was kind of hilarious. Ooh, is there another one in here? No, there's not. <laughs> okay. Those bricks look a little uneven. Someone did some amateur work. Garrett, Master Thief and Architect. Hmm. We have a telescope pointing at a portrait. Um, your guess is as good as mine, listen, viewer. Oh, okay, that's even weird. They, they don't have faces. Their faces are covered in a sock. Yes, game. Just keep pouring it on. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> now I have a mixture of terror and hilarity because I got to see that puppet get his face knocked in by a door. Okay, there's no light flicker, so... Unscripted comedy, ladies and gentlemen, you just can't beat it. And you know, even with that humorous segment, it's still terrifying. <laughs> Oh, come on. Now, I'm not sure who the last... that cell we just visited was. So I'll, might, we might have to go back by the record room and look at everybody's... thing and... recheck. Let's see... who occupied this cell? Gears and distinct lack of shinies and noises. I'm... I'm surprised, game. Well, ladies and gentlemen, next time we'll, uh... we'll be going back into the inner cradle a little further and we'll see if I can actually manage to do this without losing my cool. 